Who thinks they can give me a um, good definition in their own words of what a factor is? Now, not copying from the book, but in their own words, what is a factor? The numbers that you use to multiply. That's a good way for you to remember what um, a factor is. How? Um, what are some examples that you use? Did you do some fact? Some examples, Malia? No. Did anybody do examples of a factor of factors, Sean? I did. I did. One times two, and that you said that those, oh, I guess it would be factors, huh? Like example, those are factors. Okay, yes? Five and six. Five and six, so multiplying? Yeah. Five so five times six, those would be factors? Okay. Ronnie? Eight times six. Eight times six. So there's a bunch of different numbers we can do. What about making sure that you include um, the sentence like all of the oops, that's that, factors for 18? What are all of the factors for 18? Aiden, give me one. Okay. Brian? What's the next? Two? What's the next one? Tony. Three. Okay. What's the next one? Ronnie? Six. There, yep, six. And the next one? Sean? Nine. Nine. And then? Antonio? Four. Nope, there's no four. Owen? Eighteen. While we know that we've known for a while that when you multiply two numbers, the two numbers you're multiplying are called the factors, in this lesson, in chapter 5, this is how we're using the word factors. Finding all of the factors for a number, and in this case it would be um, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. All right, what about a definition for multiple? What is a good definition for multiple? Um, in your own words, no, Jaden. So you're giving me some examples. He's giving me examples of multiples, like saying 2 times 2 equals 4, 2 times 3 equals 6. What would be the next one, Jaden? 2 times 3, 4 equals 8. What are these multiples of? Multiples of 2. So these are multiples of 2. And what are the multiples of 2? Four, six, eight. Multiples of two. Also, two happens to be a multiple of two. But multiples of two, the multiples of two are four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on. Those are multiples. Now, see if you can turn that around and put in a definition in your own words what is a multiple. What if I put it in simpler terms and said the number you get, the numbers you get when you skip count, okay? Here I'm skip counting by two. So the multiples of two are whatever numbers I get when I skip count, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, okay? If I skip count by fives, my multiples of 5 are what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. If you think of a multiple as the numbers you get when you skip count by that number. So in this case, the multiples of 5 then are 5, 10, 15, 20. The multiples of 8 will be, if you skip count by 8, it will be 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on. Okay? All right, what about common factors? That goes back to this one, factors. Who thinks they have a good definition for common factors? I like your definition. Take two numbers. Find all their factors. So 8 and 7. 
if we did all the factors of 8 and 7, we have 7 is, what kind of number is 7? Odd. It's an odd number. I'm thinking prime or composite. Is it prime or composite? Prime. prime. 1 and 7. What are the numbers that multiply to 8? 1, 1 2, two four, 4, 8. Those are our factors. Do we have any common factors here? What are they? 1. And that's it. It's the only common factor. That's actually the same common factor that every number has. Yes. So they don't have any common factors besides one, which is every number has that common factor. Okay, who came up with a different example? Any? 20 and 20 and 20. and how about 20 and, and 30. Um, 30. We'll do 20 and 30. Okay, shh. So for 20, we have 1. Two, four, five, 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 find a pair of factors, then I know I'm at the end. What I mean by that, let me show you. So my first one's going to be 1. It's an even number, so I know there's a 2. It's 30. I know it's divisible by 3. Then I have to ask myself if, if it's divisible by 4, and I think, mm, nope, it's not divisible by 4. Is it divisible by 5? Yes. yes. Is it divisible by 6? Yes. Yes, 5 times 6 equals 30, right? So I've reached my pair in the middle together. Once I've reached my pair in the middle together, then I start going backwards. So what number times 3 equaled 30? 10. Okay, what number times 2 equaled 30? 15. 15. And what number times 1 equaled 30? Then I know I'm done. So instead of writing out all my factor pairs first, I can start with those lower numbers, and as soon as I get to a factor pair in the middle that works, then I start going backwards. All right, now looking at this, what are my common factors? One, one, one two, five, ten. Oh, let's go together. One, two, five, five ten. So my common factors for 20 and 30 are one, two, five, and ten. All right, prime numbers. Who can give me a good <coughs> definition of prime numbers? Horace. Um, prime number is a number that can only be multiplied by one in itself. Okay, a number that, that's, oh, I guess I'll write number. I'm trying to write small. A number that has only two factors, right? Two factors. What are those two factors, class? One, one, and one, and one. What is the other rule about a prime number that it's not stated right now? There's one more rule about prime numbers. Jalen? Okay. Aiden? Most prime numbers are odd. No, not that. Well, there's that. Most prime numbers, all prime numbers are odd except which number? No. Two. Two. Two is the only even number. There's another specific rule. Do you know what it is, Tony? Yeah, it has to be higher than two. I mean, no, that's close. It's Greater than? One. One. So a number greater than one. So the number has to be greater than 1. Is 1 a composite number? No. No. 1 is not a prime or a composite number. Because it only has one factor. That's right. 1. Right. Okay. So give me an example of a prime number. I'll just go around the room and just give me one. Angeline. 5. 5. Horace. 101. 101. That's a good one. Yes. Two. That's our one even prime number, isn't it? Malia? Seven. <coughs> Seven. Luna? Nine. Nope, nine's not prime. 
Why is nine not prime, guys? Divisible by three. Divisible by three. And I don't have that word divisible up here, but um, Sean. One thousand and one. Um, I don't know. Do you think is that prime? Yeah. I would take a lot of testing. I don't know off the top of my head if it's prime. Yes. Oh, four. Four is divisible by two. Two. Christine. Daniel. 111. No, it's divisible by something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I would have to test it. Ethan. So you guys are giving me big numbers that I can't test. I want you guys to keep it down here. In fact, 771 is not because it's divisible by 3. How do I know 771 is divisible by 3? 7 plus 7 is? 14 plus one more is? 15. 15 is divisible by 3. So 771 is divisible by 3. So no, it's not prime. Yes, Dina. 99. 99 is divisible by 9. 11. Okay, 3. Owen. Okay, we're going to stop there. What is one a prime no. number? No. Any number greater than one. Okay, composite number. What's the definition of a composite number? I need to do little squigglies to separate these. Because I'm... Okay, what's a composite number, Haley? Is it more than one? Right. A number that has more than two factors. And, of course, one only has one factor, so one can't be a composite number either. Okay? We decided that all even except two, two, two are, prime num are composite numbers. Who would like to give me another composite number? Or another, either another composite or another rule? Jaden. <laughs> We know that 771 is a composite number, don't we? Because it's why, Jaden. Why do we know? It's divisible by... Divisible by 3. Because we added the digits, and we can divide that number, 15 divided by 3. Aiden. 9. 9 is a composite number. We tested that. Another... Does anybody have a rule that they can give me? Another rule. Let me give you a clue. Any number that has a blank in the ones place. Numbers. Jalen. Five. Any number that has a five in the ones place. Why is any number that has a five in the one place considered composite? It can't, it's not that it can be multiplied. Use this word. It's divisible by 5. Okay? All right, so there's a lot more. We're not going to give all the examples. All right, who would like to give me a definition of pattern? But it's, let's just say the repeating, repeating of something in numbers. It's kind of tricky. Yesterday's patterns, we saw things like odd even, odd even, yeah. right? So we saw um, odd, even, odd, even, etc. We also saw um, some that did repeating the ones digit, a four, nine, four, nine. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Repeating. Someone's playing with a pencil sharpener needs to stop it. Repeating ones digit. Those are some patterns. What other patterns did we see yesterday? Taurus? Um, 
So we saw like an odd even thing happening with an addition of two each time. Yeah. Okay, that's another example. Ebony? I've seen an odd, odd, even, even. Oh, I, okay, so we had an odd, odd, even, even. I'm going to put O, O, E, E, O, O, E, E, et cetera. Okay. All right, and then the last one that on here is term. What is term? Yes. Um, a term is, is like a number in a pattern, like first term three. Each number in a pattern. So if I give you, if I give you this pattern, What is the first term? Tell me. Three. The first term is three. Can you predict the rest of this pattern? Yes. yes. What is my rule? Add three. Add three. The rule in this one would really be add three. Because multiply by three would mean three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three is, I'm not going to do it in my head, but that would be the multiplying. Remember, when you're doing a pattern, the rule happens to the term that's that's up. So if my if I had three and my rule was times three, I have to do this term times three, which is? Nine. Now I have to do this term times three, which is? Twenty-seven. 27. And then I do this term times three. Anybody got that one? It's 90 minus 9, which is 81. Ah, uh, you guys see how I did that? Oh, it's all. That's how, how did I do? How did I do that in my head? I just said 90 minus 9. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Okay, we're going to have a little review. Are you ready? It's 3 times 30 minus 3. And then I use, so I use subtraction because 30 minus 3 is 27. And now I'm going to use what property? Distributive, Distributive property to do 3, excuse me, 3 times 30 equals 90 minus 3 times 3, which equals 9. You guys remembering that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. You guys will be able to do it in your head, too. You guys just learned how to do this a couple months ago. So as you practice it more, you'll be able to do it in your head, too. Okay. Now, if I want to do the same type of idea with 80 times 3 in my head, I've got 240 plus 3. So 243. Because I can do 80 times 3. What's 80 times 3? 240, 240, and then I can do 1 times 3, which is 3, so 243. See how easy that was? You can just add it like that. So I'll write it. So this rule was to multiply by 3.